Jim and Ben from U.S. Staffing Agency join us on Thursday. Good morning, you guys. Good hey, morning. It's been a couple weeks since I've been here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're gonna Not talk. much has changed the way it looks in the uh, <laughs> studio here. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we're doing good. It has, uh, has been a little while. Uh, we're going to talk a little about goals today. You know, like yeah. uh, the Pistons have this goal to uh, actually <laughs> oh, <boy>. score some <laughs> baskets. And, the, uh, and maybe win the again. Tigers have uh, a goal of actually hitting the ball. Hitting once the, in a while. Yeah, once in a while. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, Pistons, they, uh, they, they were respectable last night. As opposed well, to the first game, right? Yeah. At least they did. They, they win last night. They did not win. Okay. They led at the half. By they, the they fought. They but fought. They back. ended up losing by twenty-one. Uh, but they're yeah. without Blake Griffin. I know. That's so, the other thing. You know, he's their best player. I mean, where would Milwaukee be yeah. without the Greek freak guy? Yeah, absolutely <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, you know, Tim, we all are disappointed when our team fails, like when the Pistons fail and the Red Wings, but. <laughs> We can live with these failures because it's actually someone else failing. It's not us you know, in our in our effort. Failing. It's fun to watch from afar. Right. <laughs> but there are times when we in ourselves in our effort, we do have life fails. So, Tim, have you ever had a life failure that you just felt absolutely compelled to post on social media? I got to tell somebody about yeah, this. You know, that is not me. I'm more of a, <laughs> I'm more of a lurker. I like yeah. to see what my friends are up to. I like to see what people are talking about. Stalking. Just, it's called stalking. I, I don't, yeah. I'm kind of a, I don't really put a lot out there, and you know what? I'm not about to put my failures out there. Uh, yeah, That's for I'm, sure. I'm with you on that. Well, before we get into our topic, topic about talking about goals, we're going to read some tweets from people using the hashtag life fail. <laughs> and there's a lot of them, so we had to pare mm -hmm. it down. Here's, here's one from a guy who tweeted this. He said, really wish someone would have told me before I ate lots of it. That the frosting on the gingerbread house is mixed with glue. <laughs> so I, guess I, I have to admit, I didn't know that either. But yeah. is it edible glue apparently? Or, uh, I, I think it is. It in, doesn't. I don't, for whatever it is, quantity. this guy ate too much of it. <laughs> yeah, ended up with a tummy ache. Life fail. The next one is from a lady who tweeted, "My hair got stuck in a vacuum today, and my aunt had to pull it out." And so many questions. Right, <laughs> this is an accurate representation of how the week is going. Hashtag life fail. Yeah. My hair got stuck in the vacuum, and someone had to help me pull it Use out. Use that for an excuse. And we were what well, we were wondering is like, how did the vacuum sweeper head get close to your hair? Like, what were you doing? Singing into it or something? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> many times these fails happen because we fail to create goals, which is what we're talking about today, Tim. Um, and today we're talking about setting goals and the benefits it has and that sort of thing. And the ideas that we're going to discuss are from a Forbes article. It's titled Five Reasons Why Goal Setting Will Improve Your Focus. And it's written by a guy with a great last name, Boss. His name is Jeff Boss. So <laughs> I'm changing my name. I'm going to be Jimmy Boss. Jimmy Boss. <laughs> Tim, you know, I'm sure radio can get very chaotic at times. Does the team here set goals to help remain focused? Absolutely. Our company is very goal-oriented. We have mm -hmm. sales goals. We have internet uh, viewing goals. We have radio programming goals. Yeah. Uh, and they are on us all the time. They refocus those and keep ourselves focused. That's yeah. right. That's what that's what goals do. They help you keep aligned and focused. That's right. Yeah. And you know the the first reason that boss gives in this article is that goals trigger behavior. And for example, I may have a goal to save up some money to buy a car. <laughs> And Jim might ask me, what kind of car are you looking to buy? I got a 74 Pinto. That's right. <laughs> a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> and I say, anything that runs. Anything that runs, that's what I want to buy. I may not achieve that goal because the end is very unclear. But if I say I'm saving up $10,000 to buy a Ford Fusion, that is a much clearer You're goal. You're going to be close. That's yes. right. Yeah. So when we uh, can visualize the end result and what is needed to get there, then it makes much, it's much more likely that we'll reach that goal. Now, listen, the second reason that boss gives is that goals guide our focus. You know, when you set a goal, you naturally direct your attention towards that first step to achieve that goal. So once step one is complete, you then engage in the next step and so on. So it's like a cascading or a building, uh, building up to, towards that goal. Yeah, and when you do not set a goal, you can fall into that trap of engaging in a lot of activity without a lot of productivity. Yep, I do it all the time. <laughs> Wait, did I just say that out loud <laughs> in front of the guy I work right. for? So <laughs> Scratch the third, that. <laughs> the third reason given is that goals sustain momentum. And seeing progress can become addicting after a while. Mm -hmm. And when you see that you're 50% or 60% of the way towards attaining that goal, it provides a natural momentum to keep on wanting to go towards it's it. It's kind of like yeah. uh, if you've ever read Good to Great by Jim Collins, it's he talks book. about it. It is a great book. Yeah, he talks about that. He said it can be hard to start towards a goal. But once you do, it 
but once you get it going, it takes a kind of a life of its own. It gets some momentum and, and carries on. Now, listen, the fourth reason given is that goals align your focus. Now, the idea is that we receive feedback as we're working toward a goal. And as we receive that feedback, we adjust our strategy as we walk along. Yeah. And also, you know, when we you know, when we have goals and we're taking a course of action that isn't getting us any closer to that goal, mm -hmm. oftentimes we switch those strategies before even getting that. Calling an audible. That's bit. right. Yeah. yeah. So fin the final reason boss stated is goals, uh, goal setting promotes self mastery. And really what this is talking about is the personal values and our character. Um, and the process of achieving that goal helps us reconnect with those values and who we are as a person. Yeah, for sure. Now, listen, maybe you're in a job that's not helping you achieve your personal goals. Now, if that's the case, let's chat. We work with some of the best companies in the area. Or maybe you're an employer who's looking for some goal-motivated team members. Call us. We have a long list of candidates that are looking for a great place to work. Ben, what are some of the ways people can reach out to us? Well, if employers and potential team members want to talk with us, they can find us on Facebook at U.S. Staffing Agency. They can live chat with us on our website at usstaffingagency.com. Or they can come into our Battle Creek location at 5420 Beckley Road, at uh, Sweet C at the Mingus Creek Plaza. Ask for Jimmy Boss. Ask for Jimmy Boss. <laughs> I'm here to get a job with Jimmy Boss. <laughs> the phone number there is 589-6507. Yeah, the great yeah. thing about, you know, goals, too, is if you're not sure what your employer thinks about your progress, yeah. you know, I mean, do, am I, do they think I'm doing a good job? Am I doing a good mm -hmm. job? All of a sudden, now you've got these goals, and when you hit them, you know, okay, I'm hitting my goals, yep. so everything's it's good. It's a great way to communicate with people. And it also reduces yeah. a lot of stress in the workplace. Yes. If you're hitting your goals, great. If you're not, then you, you need to open up a dialogue. Okay, we're not hitting our goals. What can we do differently? I mean, I had those days where I show up to work and I don't make my list of goals for the day. And I just wander. Email drives my tasks. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that, you know, whatever comes in the front door drives sure. my task. And Again, it's soon, the dog squirrel mentality. <laughs> I'm chasing the shiny object around the office. Like, oh, it's got to be this. got to be that. So goals do help me keep yep. you aligned and focused. Yeah. Thanks for the info, guys. We'll talk to you again next week. All right. Thanks, thanks Tim. Tim.